Hello, hi. If you enjoy anything in this video, you should consider the following. Subscribe to me here on YouTube, follow me on Twitch, and on TikTok, where I make other forms of content and where I post my other content. All right, cool, enjoy the video. I'm going to preface this with, I do not play Genshin. I do not enjoy Genshin as a game. I have watched a lot of videos talking about and discussing Genshin, but I don't play the game. I just look at a lot of fan art. A lot of fan art. This video is a, a cry for help. Genshin Impact is a playable anime, and that's pretty good since my videos are attempts to make watchable anime. I can't believe it, guys. Okay. They made a sequel to Stockholm Syndrome. Welcome to the world of Teyvat. You may have heard of it from all the free advertising that I'm doing. A beautiful post- Yeah, like, every video that I've watched, at least, he's mentioned Genshin at least three times. Apocalyptic nightmare world featuring a giant tree. Uh, sorry, that's the wrong game. <laughs> On our journey throughout the seven nations, we will meet the world's most colorful cast of children, entrusted and empowered by the gods to wield elemental energy as dangerously as possible. I'm just a damn a big fan of the characters in this game. There is no reason in particular. Assemble your team of heroic psychopaths and begin blasting, boating, cooking your enemies alive, visiting baby's first <laughs> casino, and with enough time, it will become baby's last casino. Damn. But most importantly, have fun because the game will try to stop you. I can assure you. Yes, yes it did. The, the, the very short time that I played Genshin, um, I got fun-gated very, very quickly. You ...that the visual novels are exactly what Da Wei intended. So join me as I navigate one of the most beautiful, fantastical, and expensive game worlds ever made. One agonizing country at a time. This is it, guys. This is what $900 <laughs> million can buy you. Are you having fun yet? Look, all I'm... How did he break the game maps that hard? Good lord. He's in the water, under the water, above the water, on the skybox. How do you do that? Trying to say is, uh, this is a weird episode of Ava. What? Do not, no, 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 no. Do not, do not. Do not tell me that this is Genshin music, bro. Do not tell me that this is a song and get, man. All right, all right, I'm, I'm gonna let it play. I'm gonna let it play, cause this is fire. That's fire. Did Paimon just get Chidori'd? Wait a minute. Wait a minute, bro. What was that? Okay, that's not pi Wapa. Yo! Yo! Whoever that is, dog, rest in peace. That looked like it hurt for real. <laughs> oh, man. What did they do to deserve that? That was tight, yo. Wow, I haven't been here in uh, two years. <laughs> Welcome back to Monstat. And yes, the game still displays your IP address. What? Really? Just in case you're a little bit too critical. This place is where the player learns how to fight, learns how to kill innocent animals, learns that <laughs> they are bisexual as soon as they see Kaya. So I yeah yeah there's some people in my old friend group that uh played against you for a few minutes and discover something new about themselves i think it's a great opportunity to teach the basics and uh nothing else the environment here looks like it shares a polygon i think a good place to start is with our team the fuel gonosaria official what every crew got the schizophrenic personality disorder <laughs> mentally and physically deranged wife material i'm uh I'm serious about that there's a quest where you enter her mind and she fights her tulpa end user license agreement literally the only physical dvs possibly racist has the biggest swampy <laughs> in Tevat. yo <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Sangin... Cock. And Rosario, <laughs> who is dressed promiscuously, so we need to cover her up in appropriate garments. God, I wish nuns were real. With our team assembled, we are now able to do nothing because I haven't explained the game. Genshin Impact is a based...
Whoops, didn't mean to pause there. Your RPG, where each character wields one of the seven elements, all of them interacting completely nonsensically. Water buffs fire. Ice freezes water. Plants buff electricity. A fucking gas leak. Denjo requires <laughs> nine tabs of Khan Academy. My team is based on not playing the game as much as possible. There is genuinely no cooldown to freeze. By what? Really? Really? That's interesting. Why does that look like an Ultima weapon? Specifically, the Ultima weapon from the Dissidia games. By the way, what I'm showing you now is considered tame. The game is actually supposed to look some mentally deranged. The numbers are helping me to understand what's happening. Of course, are some sure? characters are bad, and others are very bad, but many are absolutely game changing. There are characters that straight up allow me to fly, at least through uh, <laughs> regular means. What was that? Hello? Absolutely game changing. There are characters that straight up allow me to fly, at least through a uh, regular means. This one fights <laughs> with the pogo stick, and this one doesn't fight at all. My cox crit rate is negative 87. The game also How? allows us to choose from uh, a lot of weapons. I think I have a few copies. Each one with their own properties and substats. Sometimes too many substats. Like goddamn, I'm fighting with a Wikipedia page. We've got bows, spears, paddles, b big fish. You can fight with a fish? Just like in PSO2? That's cool. Sentient Umbrella, Child's Bomb Instructions. I hope you can see why there's a lot of variation, and also theory crafting, a lot of Chinese theory crafting. They take this game very seriously, like right outside of a KFC seriously. And if you're wondering about the gambling, what hell? Yo, they did have like a bunch of, um, a bunch of KFC events, didn't they? I thought, I, I, I honestly thought that like, those are kind of cool, actually. We'll get to it later. I have a lot to say about it. But for now, welcome to the land of the Anemo God, who is a twink that gets kicked in the balls. Damn! This guy's, uh, really jamming out. No, chat, I'm not going to do that yoinky spoinky. Oh my god, he just <laughs> doesn't give a fuck. So what if I just, uh... Yo, was he... Wait, wait, was he hitting the gritty? <laughs> Yo! Yo! My man was hitting the gritty, bro. <laughs> no chat, I'm not going to do that yoinky shit. Yo. He just doesn't give a f There's no... <laughs> There's no way, bro. There's no way, dude. Fuck. So what if... He was... He was hitting that shit. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's funny. Oh. <laughs> I just, uh... Oh no, he can't be stopped. Well, I guess if he can't He's me, still going! That is a depopulated anarchist state where there are no taxes, no police, and half the country is controlled by wolves. Wolves that you uh, never actually see, unless you want to count Razor. I mean, there's huh? a giant wolf, but he's kind of special. Uh, what the dog doing? As a result of this, Killing nobody you. in Monsat has any money. Except for the church, of course. The city is undergoing a crippling wine epidemic. Look, I just think it's a serious funding issue when the cavalry captain doesn't have a horse. Therefore, most <laughs> of your time is going to be spent cleaning up their mess. Their singular mess. Because there is only one enemy in Mondstadt. Yes, from the beautiful ruins of old to the peaks of Dragonspine, 90% of the enemies you encounter are Hillagerals, a sentient race capable of empathy and complex thoughts. Wait are you sure? Because, like, it looks like all they know how to do is bust a move. Cause that's all I've seen so far in the game. <clears throat> I certainly haven't seen otherwise on Twitter and other various websites. Which is why they must be destroyed. Literally take a random location in Mondstadt. You are 10 seconds away from a hill well, Why is that one unbirthing itself? <laughs> the only organization in Mondstadt is dedicated to race war. They even have their own language, which I'm being quizzed on. Honestly, I'm a bit what? of a yay data man myself. Really feeling that muhu yay today. Don't say Nini Zito, it's basically a slur. They uh, didn't like that. Look, what I'm trying to say what? is this place has problems. But ultimately, they are cool problems. Mondstadt may not be that varied, well designed, or even have a story that I can't summarize in one sentence. The dragon was mean, and then he was nice. Sun Tzu. But ultimately, <laughs> this is just the beginning of a long, long journey. This game is planned out uh, seven years in advance, so as far as the basics go, there is no better teacher than Mondstadt. But uh, Damn. pretty much just the basics. I don't think I'm staying for the boss fights. I did what is happening? What the fuck am I seeing? Man, his editing is so cool, dude. Okay, what is this? Can you stop for a sec? No. I need to go to my teapot. <laughs> Damn, that was cool. 
For the next stop on our War Crimes Tour of the Balkans, we're heading to the Funny Nation. Post about this nation to instantly gain Reddit karma. And for that, <laughs> we're going to need to climb as high as we can so we can deduce the direction. So, uh, we're going to this location on the map. If How only the there fuck? was a better way to view the world, make sure to land on the elevator. Next, we're going to, uh... Shit. What? We're going to, uh... What is happening? Again, we're going to ascend to space. I do a... Uh, why does that work like that? What are you doing? Oh God, the planet's receding. I am alone in this <laughs> corner. <laughs> what? I think I'm, uh... I think I'm gonna be here for a little bit. Is there you know, fall damage in this? Is physically below you. Hang on, guys. It's getting kind of... Dog. Wait. Dark what? Gonna be here for a little bit. You know it's real bad when the moon is physically below you. <laughs> guys, it's getting kind of dark, so I'm just gonna uh, change the time real quick. Yeah, the game lets you do that. Well, folks, it was nice knowing you all. You should have died for no, 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 no. Unless, unless there's like some fall damage resistance that you should have died from that. I'm just saying. Right. Hey guys, Max are here, and welcome Damn. to um, China. It's just China. Zhao Hao Zhang Wu, Shan Zai, Wu Yong, Bing Jilin, Wuhan Shihuan, Bing Jilin. I really hope I didn't just tank my social credit. In our you absolutely did. We explored Mondstadt to learn the basic mechanics, and also um race relations. So for Li Wei, again, we're going to learn that we've been playing the game wrong. But before I can get to that, I need to explain my team. I call it the uh, hot shower by force. Lord knows we need it. Xing Zhu, Xing Zhu, Xi. Xi Jinping. Yes, this <laughs> is a man. I know it's hard to tell. He is also ridiculously broken on account of his ability to make enemies wet. Interpret that information however you want. Hu Tao is the owner of a funeral parlor, and... A good friend of mine is, uh... Victim to a very intense attraction to Hu Tao. She could use a bit of new business. She is also the winner of the most terrifying Sims Award. Like the thread just is <laughs> still writing them. Most reasonable Hu Tao made. Yolan is a character that I play for the personality. Uh -huh. She's also one of the most overpowered units in the game because she's a second Xing Show. I don't even care that she's a federal psyop. I can fix her. And Toma. Sure who's about the fucking spell wrong. Just a just just don't build Toma. With our team assembled, we are now able to. Damn, I, is is he like a? I mean. I'm sure the Genshin players are gonna see my reaction to the video. Is, is, is that dude like a bad character or something? I'm asking this knowing that unless someone uses a very specific card in my stream loots pack, uh, I'm never going to play Genshin again. But is that dude like a bad character or something? I, I, I don't fucking know. He looks cool, but I don't, I don't fucking know. Realize the combat because this team is ridiculous. But fortunately, Genshin is not just a game about combat; it's a game about gambling. You see, Genshin Impact is what we call a gotcha game. Ah, uh, I knew this part was coming. Which means that the primary game mechanic is chance. Every character is chance. Every weapon is chance. Every piece of every build is fucking chance. Do you know what it's like to have a mathematically impossible goblet? Goddamn elating. <laughs> hey, so I see you're trying to level up your crit rate. Well, that's a weird way to spell defense. But fortunately, we can predict the outcomes of our character roles using some Eastern philosophies, and the answer is up um, 105 on average what don't worry you've got a lot of time uh i i guess we're gonna wow today. i've before this part continues i've seen uh quite a few videos and threads talking about like genshin's pull rate and whatever and how abysmal it is um it, it it's not the greatest uh, however, I will say that it is nowhere near as bad as it was when Brave Frontier was a thing. So, um, be happy that you don't gotta deal with that. Because only a few five stars are actually available, and sometimes they aren't available. For 483 days, she is oh. in prison for racism. But what are they going to do? Lock me up? Yes. Yo- <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing, but like, yeah, that did actually happen not too long ago, as a matter of fact. Um, that led to quite the hell firestorm on uh, Genshin Twitter and whatnot. But uh, yeah, that guy sucks. Things that I cannot say on Twitch or YouTube because the terms of service should happen to that guy. So naturally, we need to feed our gambling addiction at any cost. And there's a few ways to do that. You could explore more, go on fantastic adventures, or find amazing treasures. 
if you want to stay poor. No. Damn. You see, the real money is made in the daily quests, which are a series of useful and normal missions, such as talking to people, murdering those people, talking to the hill turtles, very nicely, <laughs> finding the weasel, wh where do you go, and j jumping on mushrooms. Who the fuck commissioned me to do this? We also what have the, the power to send various characters on 20-hour expeditions directly to the coal mines. Look, guys, I really need these 2,000 upgrade materials. It's just uh, <laughs> best you don't think about it too hard. Greetings, traveler. Uh -huh. At Astra Abyssal. Okay. What can I do? That's Iron Mouse talking. Who are you today? Yeah, I'd like to uh, send a child to the coal mines. What? Put her in for 20 hours. But traveler, she's going to die. The lithium is not going to mine itself. <laughs> but traveler. Do not question me, Catherine, or I'll have you stabbed in a future quest. He's so good at this, man. What the hell? Lee Wei is an authoritarian, militaristic oligarchy controlled by a committee of really hot lesbians. I believe in Ganyu supremacy. This nation is the <laughs> land of True. contracts, and by entering, you have made the contract to not criticize the state. Consequently, Lee Wei is also where all money is printed on the planet. So, uh, uh, I guess Monstat's economy is powered by hopes and dreams. And also, uh, the card game. Look, Timmy, I know your dad's dead and all, but... Do you want to play Gwent? A minor side effect <laughs> of this is that Li Wei is in the midst of a violent crime epidemic. As in, the majority of enemies in Li Wei are human. And even worse, they're poor. So Damn. poor, in fact, that they're forced to fight you with Molotov cocktails and farming equipment. What is what is your plan, my guy? What? What kind of... What kind of bandits are they? Like, what... Wait, if... if, if... If they're causing problems with farming equipment and Molotovs, how are they so much of a problem when you have people that, like, have actual weapons and power? You know what? You know what? I'm asking too many questions. I'm asking too many questions. The masculine urge to dig a hole. By the way, we're the good guys. Speaking of digging holes, yeah, okay. I should probably address this. It's a little difficult to ignore. You see, there are many beautiful places to see in Li Wei, such as Night City, the fucking rice fields, the <laughs> most annoying place to navigate on the earth. Like, please stop giving me commissions here. And then we have the Chasm, which is a secret underground labyrinth containing all of the game's Eldritch Horrors. And really? yes, this is just the entrance to the Chasm. Damn. Oh! You can die from fall damage. Yeah, there's no sound effect for that. If you die down here, no one will hear your screams. As soon as you think you're done exploring, it just it just keeps going down. The devs had to add moon shoes to the game so I could keep playing it. Now that we're trapped down here, we only have two options remaining. We need to mine and we need to craft. The second part will come later. Are you serious? Okay, so now it's later. It takes that long to break a rock in this damn game? Unfortunately, I cannot craft a sense of humor. Look, what I'm trying to say is Li Wei is a very diverse place. Certainly more diverse than Hillitrill Field Number 6. But <laughs> most importantly, Li Wei Ow. is a land of questions. What secrets lie in this mysterious land? What adventures are still to be... What? Why is that shit just spinning around him? What kind of counterfeit Virgil summon swords is that? Yeah, am I gay now? It's almost enough to make you forget the nightmare pit. And look, Li Wei might have a few issues with organized crime, sea monster attacks. It happens twice, and the landscape always Damn. trying to kill me. But hey, at least the story's up. It's okay. Can anyone? Can anyone here tell me why? 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 Like there's a? <laughs> why there's like a giant bird next to me? It's weird. <laughs> oh fuck! Where am I? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was cool. What's up, gang? It's me, Arthur. Wait, you're you're the the character you control, like the the main character has like actual voiced lines. That's cool. What the hell? <laughs> Okay, guys, listen. We need to reach Japan. Don't worry. I have a plan to bypass immigration. What we the? We are going to walk there. Yes, that's right. We're going to... Excuse me. We're going to travel underneath <laughs> the ocean. So apparently I just have to... Um... Uh-huh. Ha! Okay. That actually worked. Okay, I think okay. I've uh, made a mistake. It's time to descend into the abyssal zone. Just to <laughs> watch out for the void. Uh, what do I do about this? So you I don't. I've been walking for uh, 20 minutes. I don't like this anymore. What the okay, fuck? We're pretty close now, so um, I don't think we're close enough. Please no, please no, please no. I d d d d how am I trying to <laughs> <there>? <laughs>
Ooh, I like that. What is up, my thabies and gentle vamps? Welcome to the land of Inazuma, a home to nobody because no one is properly housed in Inazuma. Previously, Monsat taught us how to play, and Li Wei taught us how to simp. Well, the land of lightning is here to teach us that we have not felt true pain yet. But first, let's go over our team, which I will be calling the, uh, Yandere Benzos. Yai Miko, Mommy, sorry, Sigma Female, Kidnapped a Man. <laughs> Because I played uh, Honkai Impact 3rd for quite some time, fully, fully agree. And enforce feminized him. God, I wish that was me. Traveler, I'm making a call out post to my Twitter.com. What the fuck are you saying? I'm gonna piss on the fucking moon. Bruce, what? You can literally name him Bruce. That is actually how it appears in game. In fact, we can name him all kinds of things, such as Baby Girl, Dr. Ligma. What? You can actually name well, I mean, I guess it only it probably only means something for this one guy, but that's interesting. Ball fart, testicles. What is that? And what? last but not least, Hokushish. Hatsune Miku. This is literally just Miku. Like they didn't even try to hide it. And Damn. Bennett, who is the single most overpowered unit in the game. Like Genshin doesn't have power creep because of Bennett. Send this bitch to the coal mines and have his testicles exploded. Now my previous <laughs> times, they were kind of nice. But this time I'm not playing nice. I'm playing for funny numbers. Every single member is up the big number, the bigger. The better. Optimize beyond the boundaries of reason. I rolled six copies of Hatsune Miku, and now I can kill Tortellini in two attacks. It up uh, costs Damn. fifty dollars. Also, Bruce can up uh, fly like actual flight. It breaks like half the game's AI when you do it. They're just wait. Do you just get this guy as a character when you get to Inazuma? That's very cool. Confused. My entire team is him shooting down at the peasants like an attack helicopter. Just uh, <laughs> don't ask me how long I found for this. I had to grind for this view. Man, hang on a fucking second. Just Legendary. In the water. Something is horribly wrong with this country. Inazuma is a third world isolationist dictatorship, mostly occupied by really? catastrophic disasters, both Damn. natural and man made. But mostly man made. Me and the fellas watching Oppenheimer in the IMAX. Inazuma is also engulfed in a decades long civil war, resulting in mass unemployment and a refugee crisis. Naturally, <laughs> this is reflected in the enemy variety, because to visit Inazuma is to be accosted by hundreds of jacked homeless people. Like these guys just stand in the rain all day. Okay, so these homeless guys have actual weapons. But the other guys, they have farming tools, and they're a menace, somehow. Okay. How do the Hillitrolls have more shelter than this? It is also a land of many islands, which all act as their own individual insurgencies. So, I think this is a great opportunity to educate you as to why you should never visit Itazuma. You know, besides, uh, the fucking puzzles. This shit is the work of Satan. Narugami Island <laughs> is the only place in Itazuma resembling a civilization. The rest is basically just Martin Luther King Boulevard. The only disaster this island has to worry about is the government. And her name is the Raiden Shogun. Kanazuka is the first... What in the world was that? Wait a minute. Disaster this island has to worry about is the government, and her name is the Raiden Show. This has so much nothing personal kid energy behind it. Katazuka is the first island to be made uninhabitable by nuclear weapons testing, which then proceeds to leak out of the elephant's foot in an amount so dangerous it makes Chernobyl look like clown college. I mean, I guess there's also the Kujo encampment, but uh, we don't go to the Kujo encampment. Why? Well, that's enough of that. <laughs> Wait a minute. What the fuck? Yashiori is an absolute <laughs> nightmare on account of the non-stop lightning storm and a uh, slightly imposing giant skull. My favorite activity is uh, going to this place. It limits the land the lightning can strike, so it just fucking whacks you. Looks Damn. like another beautiful day in the great land of Inazuma. Of course, I could fix the problem if I wanted to, but when I began the quest to remove the lightning, I was struck by it. <laughs> <laughs> can get hit by lightning mid quest conversation that's absurd to take that as a sign from god say rye island is what happens when mr beast donates 50 megatons of ionizing radiation to families to be like this shit makes evangelion look like a comedy special the fact that there aren't even homeless people here probably tells you all you need to know surumi island is a very isolated place populated for thousands of years by bird worshiping savages who need their mineral resources exploited president biden <laughs> please send raytheon missiles so i can buy just sawny water and cheetos i just think it has something to do with the uh, interdimensional dog uh, island is 
really nice. Like, what the fuck? Does this even count as an island? It's just so beautiful. I sure hope it's not hiding some kind of horrifying dark secret. Okay. Oh, Ankonomia is fucking Atlantis. You get there by jumping into the giant hole, and it's like, how is this legal? Are the developers okay? I had my D&D players my Final Fantasy campaign do exactly that. Okay, this place was once home to a thriving civilization, which collapsed nearly instantly after they discovered TikTok. It also Damn. allows me to toggle the powers of the artificial sun, and uh, holy shit, this 5G connection is crazy. You can just turn on the sun. I hate that I read the caption mid-sentence, and I said what I said as I was reading the sent. Continuing on. Look, I think you've got the idea at this point. As much as I've talked about reactions and, uh, children, Genshin Impact at its core is an exploration game because it makes you explore your sexuality. And that <laughs> fact alone makes Inazuma one of the best areas. If you don't count the story, please kill me, mommy, I've been a bad boy. And okay, this nation might be lacking in housing, basic infrastructure, and some unbombed land. But honestly, that's just part of the rustic charm. How else do you think this island got a giant crater? Just, uh, be glad you don't have to live in Inazuma. It's all fun and games until you piss off the geometry. What was that? Oh, this song is fire. Hi guys, it's me, Goro. Goro, oh, is that peanut butter? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Yo, we said it at the same time. Fellas, for our next stop, we're going to enter the weed land. We need to smoke that Zaza and fall unconscious. And to do Damn. that, all we have to do is not be stuck in Inazuma. So if you were a fan of our undersea adventure, then don't worry. This glitch is much worse. All we've got huh? to do is, uh, whatever that was. What? I can't let go of the W button, by the way. Get ready to receive some Holy Spirit. Uh, okay, so we're just, we're just going down to, we're, we're going to, we're going to Silent Hill. What now. is happening? Sorry, guys, it looks like we're, uh, approaching Meltdown. <laughs> Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Maxo. Uh, <laughs> one second, guys. My mom's calling me. Uh, hey, Bob. W one second. I'm flying to get that Zaza. What does that mean? <laughs> it means I'm low-key in a battle bus. Sometimes I wish you were normal. Okay. Damn. Uh, where are we dropping, boys? Yo! Perfect landing. <laughs> what song is this? Hey there, my little Genshits. Welcome to the land of Sumeria, uh, Sumeru, Hittite jump scare. The only nation in Genshin Impact that can use the internet, mostly for racism. Good to Damn. see that nothing's changed. It is also um, absurdly gigantic, like the map screen can't even see all of it. But before we can get into the intricacies of Sumerian society, I have to explain my team. The, uh, the kindergarten. Nahida what? Is I can explain. My girl at 10, but she is 10. Nahida is the literal god of knowledge. If you count knowledge as the personal thoughts of every NPC in Sumeru, which she can read, even when I log into Discord, there's no escaping her. Is that like an important story or character mechanic for her or something? Oh my fucking god, they're still typing it. How many ebooks do these people have? Does watching you count as a hobby? What? Not huh? You for a long time Excuse me, what? Nilu has a completely hollow skull. There is nothing happening inside her head. She could not pass an eye exam. Second <laughs> be a coca. Wait a minute. I've seen you before. But fellas, I've got something to admit. You see, Kokomi's damage scales on health. Her healing scales on health. And yes, huh? her health scales on health. So what? naturally, when it came time to build her, I um, used the wrong stat. It makes the numbers funnier. Yao Yao is very. So essentially, that one is. Stay at max health at all times, otherwise don't play the character. Sounds about right. Very cute and buddy. Her playstyle is chill and relaxing. In fact, you don't even have to play as Yao Yao. You play as her artificial beast given life. It uh, throws <laughs> vegetables at them. How many people oh. would you kill for Yao Yao is not the right question. The right question is how many people I would allow to live. Personally, I think this team is really good for not having a DPS. And we are going to need it for oh, the no. funny and interesting events this game has to offer. Because, dear viewer... <laughs> Was that beetle fighting? And we are going to need it for all the oh. funny and interesting events this game has to offer. Oh my god, that is beetle fighting. Because, dear viewer, I lied to you. The best way to make money is not actually the Weasel minigame. It is participating in temporary event content, which I can only describe as punishment for developers who are too insane. Event content such as Prop Hunt, a game where you can oh, no. various household items to escape the wrath of very stupid people. Oh god, I think he's got a whiff. Wow, guys, this is just like Genshin Impact. <laughs> yeah, I don't have to pay to see kids. You know what? Huh? I think it's about time that I show off my winning strategies. Fellas, I've got a good feeling about this one. All we've got to do is... Uh, 
Yep. Next, you gotta you gotta do this. He will never find me this way. What the hell? Does he know? Oh my god, he doesn't know. <laughs> Wait a second, no. All right, fellas, I gotta play <laughs> this map. We're just gonna stand here. He has no clue. I, I can't. Why is it working like this? I'm sorry, guys. Looking up is really hard. I am torturing this man. You Jesus say Christ. That he's, a, that he's among us. We also have event content like the boat minigame. I'm having so much fun with the boat mini game. The Pokemon tournament arc. I, what is happening on my screen? Does that man have a fucking gun? Yes, the he does. Beetle cockfighting. I've always wanted to beat a child. And my personal favorite, Chinese New Year. Because it makes me the most money. Just uh, don't look up any of the cutscenes. What the fuck? You know who Tower. This is what people were tripping about on Twitter not too long ago. I, man, wow. Yeah, I agree with him. I agree with him 100%. This is horrible. Now, I think you've got some hidden talent. Please keep it hidden. <laughs> it fucking escaped. This sounds like some Mega Man music. Kaya, you gotta watch out, buddy. You're, you're fucking, you're rolling to the ragging too much. <laughs> Sumeru is an autocratic Orwellian surveillance state with a little hint of apartheid, governed by the worst organization imaginable. You Damn, he did. This nation is the land of knowledge, with most of it being devoted to new, more efficient ways to be racist. And to that end, Sumeru is segregated between two distinct parts, each with their own unique ways to kill you. The forest <laughs> is a terrifying safari hellscape, where each animal is not only able to kill you, but is evolved to. We've got tigers, cows, crocodiles, robot dinosaur, f fungus dinosaur. What the hell? Welcome to Jurassic Park. And my favorite animal type, poor people. But Damn. most importantly, the forest is where the white people live, and they're filling the library with video essays. This is the Academia, who controls Subaru by spreading misinformation on the internet. Raiden, the Academia doesn't want you to know this, but you can steal ducks from the public park. Th they're free, Raiden. The desert is a desolate, abandoned wasteland, once home to a thriving civilization. Before the Caucasoids built a giant wall between them. You know, I'm sure that's explained in the story, but like... Why, though? <laughs> does does anyone else think this is weird? We've got scorpions. We've got scorpions. Welcome to Jurassic Hell. We've got the, uh... What is that? Never mind. So is he gonna, like, uh... Huh? Okay. And we've got worm demons. But my personal favorite obstacle is definitely the gigantic fuck-off laser. Hello? There's even more enemies. But... What kind of stay-out defense system is that, bro? My favorite obstacle is definitely the gigantic fuck-off Yo, nah, bro. Couldn't be me. Couldn't be me, bro. Nah, nah. <laughs> there are, of course, even more enemies, but most of them are just liberal propaganda to make you believe that race mixing is a physical need. And fellas, it's working. But hey, the <laughs> desert isn't all that bad, as long as you ignore the racist genie quest. The motherfucker graduated from casual to competitive racism. Damn. Later, Max. What? Wait, what? I gotta go AFK real quick. The, no, you can't do this. What me. happened? Look, the point is, Sumeru is massive, and it's not even done. And also, Leeway isn't done. And also, Mondstadt. Yeah. But what Sumeru does have is an actually good story. Like, out of all the things I expected, Harvard Building and Evangelion was not one of them. What is that? No, what is that? Are you supposed to fight that? I'm not gonna lie, that looks fun. But yo, what is they doing over there, bro? What they doing over there, man? Nah, what 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 they need this kind of tech for, bro? That's absurd. Them. You can't tell me what to do anymore, mom. I'm finally inside of another man. That That was like the ultimate weapon cutscene from A Rome Reborn. What? I am the all-knowing god. Jesus Christ, they really made this boss fight. A mobile game, by the way. So whether Damn. you're exploring deep in the woods- How were you supposed to- Wait a minute. No, 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 no. How were you supposed to fight Christ, that really thing on a phone, bro? I can- I can understand fighting that on your computer, on your console, but a phone? That? No. 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 Game. That? That? No. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. <laughs>
that's crazy. By the way, so whether you're exploring deep in the woods at 4 a.m., finding amazing oases, gotta sure hope nothing whimsical happens here, fighting more uh. minorities, I'm trying to be a police officer, or doing the eight hour gnome people quest, that is a, that is a lot of side quests. There oh, will God. always be a new surprise in Sumeru. And if future content is even a fraction as good as this, then I'm going to be playing this game for a very long time. Because, you know, I wasn't doing that already. <laughs> Yo, can, can we... Can I take another moment to appreciate the music that he uses in his Segway connections, man? It... Oh my god, I wish... I wish that... After he would, like, post his videos, he just drop, like, a music list of what he uses in them what the fuck dude that's so good that was a cool shot what the fuck Sido? Sido, where are you going what the hell? this man is fucking tweaking out right now <laughs> damn 